Lou, the devastating fire at Notre Dame in Paris is still being investigated tonight. That cathedral houses more than religious history. The cathedral's pipe organ is considered by many as the birthplace of Western music. News 3's Martin Staunton joins us now with one local man's special connection to the instrument. Martin. Good evening to you, Trish, and to everyone out there watching. This is drone video of the destruction from Monday's incredible fire at that cathedral. The historic pipe organ survived. The flames, damage, the flames that, that caused the damage to Notre Dame hits hard with millions of people, including a musician right here in Savannah. He was scheduled to play that organ in a concert at the church next spring. Dr. Paul Thornock is the music director and organist at the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist here in Savannah. He's actually playing music written on Notre Dame's famous pipe organ. For the last two years, Dr. Thornock's been preparing to perform a concert at the world-famous cathedral on an instrument that changed the course of musical history. Well, it's one of the great important places in the whole music world. Um, you know, the history of Western music really emanates from there. This organ is the largest in France with five keyboards and more than 8,000 pipes, 900 of which are considered historic. This great instrument has changed over the centuries, but it's been in the same spot under the iconic rose window since the 15th century. The first organ in that building dates from about 1460, and the organ that exists now uh, was first installed in, in 1868, uh, but it has many pipes that predate the 1868 organ. Dr. Thornock's concert was set for March, but the invitation was extended two years ago. Um, I've had a long association with the organists there. Um, they've been friends and colleagues for a long time, and then just one day I got this invitation to come play. So it was sort of the culmination of a career. Thornock hopes the fire didn't scorch a future invitation. Uh, it would be really wonderful to be invited back after the cathedral is restored. And so, Martin, there was no damage to the organ at Notre Dame at all. It doesn't appear so. Not any fire or water damage, but a complete restoration is going to be necessary to deal with any smoke and debris damage from the fire. But there's no word on when that work will be done. Martin, thank you.